Hi, this is a brief description of the SAS and canister systems that come on all KTM Big Twins. Uh, the purpose of this video is to better explain to you exactly what these things are and what they do, and so you can understand uh, our descriptions in our store uh, when you're looking at various stage SAS kits. So we have SAS, stage one, two, three, and various other kits. Uh, the higher the number, um, the more comprehensive uh, the kit, the more uh, plug and play, so to speak. So we're gonna uh, get through this as quick as we can. Uh, we've got other videos that show you uh, the complete um, how-to removal on these pieces. Um, but we're gonna explain to you exactly what they do. Uh, we get a lot of calls at Rob Weather Performance, you know, what is the SAS, what does it do, why do people remove it? Uh, we have to stress that this is an EPA thing, um, and it should be noted that this is an off-road use only modification. Uh, so what this does right here is, um, this whole system right here, this is the, the entire SAS system. And it, what it does is it injects fresh air into the exhaust system to light off the catalytic converter a little bit quicker. If you have a bike where the catalytic converter is in the exhaust and you're running an aftermarket exhaust, there is no point in having this on the bike anymore. And people get rid of them because it's dead weight. You know, between these two, it's about four pounds of dead weight. Um, and it clutters up your engine and it also causes some burbling and gurgling on D-cell. So people just want to get rid of these. So when we mention SAS block off plates, it's basically a plate that covers this when you unbolt this from the side of the engine. So it sits like this, you unbolt these guys and you bolt our SAS plates right on the side of the engine. They're nice billet anodized black uh, with our logo in them. Uh, and some of the other kits uh, have a, a plug uh, for the air box. So when you unplug this from the air box, so you're not drawing dirty air in there, unfiltered air, we have a little aluminum plug and a spring clip that goes over that, uh, that covers that up. And when you unplug these, you'll throw an FI light on the dash um, because the, the stock ECU and a KTM monitors the entire system. And when something's unplugged, it'll throw an FI light that blinks and it'll annoy you. So we have, um, uh, when, when we mention SAS dongle, um, that's this plug right here. And what it does is when you unplug the SAS valve, you plug in our little dongle. And what it does is it, it, um, it fools the ECU, the computer, into thinking that something's still there. You'll still get a warning light for other important things, but it will fool the computer into thinking that this is still there and everything else will work just fine. This has no bearing or effect on power whatsoever. It doesn't change, add, decrease power whatsoever. It's just a bunch of junk that people want to get rid of and clean up the look of their engine. Uh, some of the SAS plates on a, uh, a 1290 Super Duke that we have here or 1190, you can see them uh, from the side of the bike and, and the, they really clean up the look of the engine. They make it look very nice. Um, this is the canister system and the SAS and the canister are often mistaken for the same thing. They're actually two different things. They're just typically done at the same time. And what the canister does is it basically pulls the evaporations from the fuel tank. The, the fuel tanks don't vent to atmosphere, they vent to this can and this is a charcoal can. From the back of this charcoal can, there's another line that goes to this little valve here, and this is very similar to the SAS valve, where it just opens and closes with 12 volts. And when you start the engine, this valve opens, and then the throttle bodies basically pull a vacuum on this, and it consumes uh, the emissions. So if you want to get rid of all this stuff, uh, we have a dongle. Uh, for this here that will also kill the FI light. If you unplug this, you'll get, an, you get a, uh, an engine light for this too. So we have dongles for these. This would be the canister dongle. Uh, the SAS dongle would be this one. And people want to get rid of these uh, because they take up a lot of space in your toolbox. Um, it's a lot of dead weight floating around uh, and people just don't want them. So, uh, so they, you know, if you're racing or off-roading, uh, uh, they just want to get rid of them. Um, what you don't want to do is just unplug these. A lot of people just unplug them and leave them sitting in their tail. Uh, these will draw a vacuum. And when it's drawing a vacuum, you're drawing dirty air into your engine, so you don't want to do that. So um, our various stage kits, when you're reading the descriptions, you'll know what they do. The higher the stage kit, uh, the more comprehensive the kit, the more it'll, uh, it will handle. There's no laptop work with any of this. It's all pretty much plug and play. All the dongles will kill the FI lights, and you'll be off and ready to go.